going to the roofing process conference. Uh, you were there. I actually went to your breakout, but it was a big eye opener as far as um, like Marcus Sheridan listening to him as far as like, let's hit a critical mass of content that you put out. And if you hit that critical mass, um, you know, you're, you're just by virtue of, of how much you've put into it going to get out of it. So then I like doubled and tripled down. I'm like, okay, I'm doing two videos a week, three articles a week. Um, I'm going to post uh, once on Facebook, LinkedIn, TikTok every single day. And it seems like a lot, but it's really not. I mean, it's like, I, I make TikTok videos that take 10 seconds and I put them in my drafts and then I wake up and, at, you know, once I start working, I post one at like nine, one at noon, one in the afternoon. And it seems like I'm like really blasting the brand, but like maybe I spend eight hours a week total um, putting this stuff together and it, it, it gives you a professional, it gives you a really professional look uh, to people out there, which is what you're going for. So. I think it's super important. And uh, it, as far as your question goes, LinkedIn, um, LinkedIn is still one of the um, still one of the social media platforms where you can get organic reach. Um, I actually have more followers on my business LinkedIn page than I do on my business Facebook page. And I get more engagement and more reach on LinkedIn than I do on Facebook. So in my opinion, most people uh, are on LinkedIn anyway. They don't. They might not be on it as much as they are on you know the other ones. But you get more reach. So I, I enjoy putting time into LinkedIn. I think it's a great platform for businesses and business owners. That's cool. So you get business from LinkedIn, or how? Yep. Or okay. I had a I had a guy that uh, I was in my fraternity a couple of years before I was when I came through in college. And he, he literally found me on LinkedIn and was like, man, I love the content you're putting out here. Like, could you come give me a, an a inspection on my roof? And I'm like, yeah, sure. Went out, wound up getting him a new roof through insurance. So LinkedIn has paid dividends for me for sure. Dude, that's so cool to hear. And I want to just break down organic reach for a minute. I know, obviously, you know what it is, but for some of the audience that doesn't know that term, organic reach. Uh, basically what on Facebook and Instagram, when you, uh, when you have a, a following, say of a thousand people that follow your business page, uh, or even personal as well, but let's stick to the business page. When you put out content, it can be a great piece of content, but only about like 5% of people that follow your page are actually going to see that content. And I know it's frustrating. It happens to all of us. And it's not because Facebook's trying to, you know, make us frustrated. It's just because the sheer volume of content is too much for Facebook and Instagram to display to every, all of our followers all the time. So that's where the algorithm comes in, right? So that's, yeah. that's unfortunate. And that's why, uh, you know, a big part of what we do is we train on social media ads. So for a few bucks a day, you can go out there and reach thousands or tens of thousands of people. But on LinkedIn, there's there's a lot of LinkedIn users, but not many of them are creating content on a weekly basis. So therefore, you post something and your followers are actually going to see it without you having to back your content with advertising dollars. So it's it's still like Byron's saying, it's still it's an opportunity to get your content out there uh, in front of your market for for free and reach people. So um Good, good observation there. Not many people, not many contractors are using LinkedIn. We use it uh, probably not as good as, as much as we should, but I've gotten a, a, you know, a ton of business out of it, a ton of uh, kind of partnership opportunities out of it. And uh, it's one of those things that is completely underutilized in the contracting industry. Yeah, for sure. Um, and another thing as far as recruiting goes, um, I don't have a background in recruiting. Um, I'm like a novice when it comes to that. But uh you know, we have an interview with a guy interested in sales um, coming up on Thursday, and it was purely from LinkedIn content. He was like, look, I like the brand that you guys are putting out. It seems like you're, you know, successful. You guys have a fun culture. Um, you're putting out educational content. Like I could learn something. And, it, you know, if, if we hadn't been using it, uh, that wouldn't that opportunity wouldn't be there for us. So.